Good morning. I'm in Whistler, Canada. And if you look around, look how empty it is. That's because it's about 7 a.m. right now and I've woken up really early to go grab breakfast and then get started on a huge day. I've got two, maybe even more than two, but I've got two for sure amazing things that I want to do today. So first thing this morning, I'm doing one of the quintessential Canadian experiences, which is canoeing through a lake, through a river, in this stunning scenery. First thing, I've got to go sign a waiver, because everything you do in Canada requires you to sign your life away. And also, uh, zip up bags for your cell phones. way to start the morning, just go canoeing through a national park in the middle of Canada. Perfect. Canada, hey. <laughs> this is cool. I am also paddling occasionally, by the way, but whenever I film, Shiraz is doing all the work here. <laughs> what an amazing start to the day. I feel like I kept saying it in the last video, but honestly, it's just stunning scenery everywhere. Like the landscapes are incredible. That was called Alter Lake, and we just canoed across it and just couldn't stop looking everywhere. Yeah. Hey, How was it? Yeah, it was good. Like it. Yeah. Did you crash a lot? No. No? no? Oh, we crashed a lot. And we're pulling up. Alright, cool. Just like, the important thing is, just don't lean either way. Alright. Good luck. Hope we see you on the other side. Video. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, exactly. Because that is all over. Right. Pretty good spot. Living the dream. And this is the chill section. What an epic morning, it's insane. I've just been looking through some of the photos I got off the GoPro and it was just, just insane scenery and some cool shots. Go check out on my Instagram if you wanna see some of them. That's not even it for today. Um, <laughs> I've just come back to the hotel room quickly to pick up my bags to go on to the next thing and trying to find time to talk to the camera and sort of weave a narrative together because it's just so much happening. I'm gonna run off right now and begin the next activity. So in case you haven't guessed, we're going up a gondola. <laughs> Nice. 
So next up we've come to the top of the mountain to try and get some of the epic views up here. There's a thing called the Peak to Peak Gondola that I've just bought a ticket for and it takes us across both of the peaks. So I'm up here now and let me just try and show you some of the scenery. absolutely insane and I think it rivals the scenery I've seen in any country it's just panoramic views all around I think this is one of the reasons why you could come here during the summer most people know about Whistler just for the winter and just for the skiing and snowboarding but the views and the, oh my god the colors makes it so worth it to be here during the summer. By the way, if you come on a Kentucky tour, this is how to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're friends. <laughs> Seriously, today though, it's just shown exactly why you should come to Whistler in the summer. I've never thought about it, I've always just thought about coming skiing or snowboarding here, which I'd love to do as well, but I, the scenery, I think I've said that word a hundred times in this video, the scenery, goddammit! And this is the peak to peak gondola. Absolutely incredible day. Um, I'm gonna finish the vlog here. I just came back to the room and I'm gonna leave it here because I can't really top that today. <laughs> yeah, amazing, amazing scenery everywhere. And what's really clear is that the national parks are really well looked after. There's like no rubbish around, it's all it's all just beautiful and it seems like Canadian people here really value the outdoors as well. There's so many activities to do both in summer and in winter that are all suited to, towards the outdoors. Mountain climbing, hiking, skiing, snowboarding. And so if that is you, then get across here to try out some of this stuff and you won't regret it. I'm gonna leave it there for now. It's only two days into the Canada trip and there's so much more coming up. Check back tomorrow for the next place, but for now, thank you for watching, and this is my life.